there's a little secret about how to win a listing presentation before you even show up to the listing. We're going to talk about that today. Stay tuned. This episode of Keeping It Real is brought to you by Real Geeks. How many homes are you going to sell this year? Do you have the right tools? Is your website turning soft leads into interested buyers? Are you spending money on leads that aren't converting? Well, Real Geeks is your solution. Find out why agents across the country choose Real Geeks as their technology partner. Real Geeks was created by an agent for agents. They pride themselves on delivering a sales and marketing solution so that you can easily generate more business. Their agent websites are fast and built for lead conversion version with a smooth search experience for your visitors. Real Geeks also includes an easy to use agent CRM. So once a lead signs up on your website, you can track their interest and have great follow-up conversations. Real Geeks is loaded with a ton of marketing tools to nurture your leads and increase brand awareness. Visit realgeeks.com forward slash keeping it real pod and find out why realtors come to Real Geeks to generate more business. Again, visit realgeeks.com forward slash keeping it real pod. And now, on to our show. Are you ready for Little Sparks? I am ready for Little Sparks. I'm Krista Mayshore. I'm so happy and honored to be able to contribute. Today, we're going to be talking about how to win before you arrive, how you can have the competitive advantage amongst your competition when listing homes, how to get sellers to say, yes, I want to work with you. Okay, let's get started. All right. So first of all, thank you so much for your time. I totally appreciate it. I know that you're busy and I am going to make this absolutely worth your while. So every single month I do a boot camp um, and I teach agents how to utilize social media and video to dominate their market. We show them how to truly, truly stand out and position themselves as the authority in real estate or in lending. And I'm going to show you today a little bit about that process. Now, what I do when before a listing presentation is really, really important. And what you have to understand is that you are always on a job interview. Anything and everything that you do is that you're on a job interview, right? People are watching you even before you know that they're watching. So in order for you to be considered a solution, you need to be solving a problem. So the first step of this entire process is to find out what problems people are having. Now, to do this the best way, you need to understand who your client avatar is, meaning who, who are you going after? Are you going after sellers, buyers? What's their age, socioeconomic status? You know, are they married? Do they have children? Um, are they moving up? Are they moving down? Like, what's the exact type of property that they're trying to buy or sell? Like, how can you truly, truly, truly speak directly to the person that you are going after? That's the first thing. Know who you're going after. Know anything and everything that you can about them, because the more that your content speaks directly to somebody, the more likely you're going to convert that person into a client. And then third, speak and teach to those problems, those concerns, those dreams, like speak to them through your videos, through your content and through your messaging. Okay. So I teach a strategy at my boot camp every single month that we teach people how to get sellers to raise their hand and ask for um, a market analysis. If you go to kristamayshore.com forward slash bootcamp podcast, that's kristamayshore.com forward slash bootcamp podcast, we can tell you all about that three day event. And so we teach people how to get sellers to ask them for a market analysis of their home. Now, let me ask you a question. If somebody's asking you for a market analysis, don't you think they're probably interested in? In selling? The answer is probably yes. So what that means is we need to make sure that we do anything and everything we can to impress that client, to really, really get them to say yes to us, right? Super, super important. So I'm going to show you when a seller raises their hand and asks for a market analysis. First of all, there's this whole process that we do before that step to get them to raise their hand and ask for a market analysis. Um, 
And I think I have a training on that somewhere. I will try to find that and stick it in the show notes for you. In fact, I will. I'll stick that in the show notes for you. We teach you exactly how to get a seller to raise their hand and ask for a market analysis. Now understand this works for anything. The strategy behind that training can work for credit repair, getting buyers, trying to dominate a certain neighborhood, um, uh, anything at all that you're trying to do. That strategy will work. But this one was specifically for getting sellers to ask for a market analysis. Now, people would ask for a market analysis. And what, what I would do is I would create video content. And I would create video content that spoke directly directly to a specific problem that sellers were having. Well, over the past couple of years, until just recently, it was basically limited inventory, right? There's no inventory. They were afraid if they sold their house, they would be homeless because they wouldn't be able to find a replacement property. So even people that wanted to sell weren't selling. So I created video content all about selling, how to be able to sell a house in a seller's market and still be able to find a replacement property, why selling is a great time and how we can help them. That's the first step, creating content. Now, I'm going to I'm going to share my screen. So Highly recommend you go into the show notes if you're just listening to this online. And what I want you to do is I want you to um, to watch the video because I'm going to show you a graph and it really, really kind of puts the point home. But you can listen along. I'll try to be really descriptive as possible. But if you can also watch the video of this, it'll really, really be helpful. Okay, so I'm showing you my screen here. Now, what I want you to think about is this. is It's black screen right now. <laughs> okay. What I want you to think about is... When I create video ads, so first of all, I'm going after sellers and I create video ads, right? Videos of people. Now, when you create a video, first of all, what happens when you're watching a video? People get to know you. They get to like you. They get to trust you. They see you as the authority. You're literally developing what they call a parasocial relationship with you. People act like they know you because they're seeing you on the other side of a video. So when I know what sellers want or no matter what the strategy is that I'm trying to accomplish and I figure out what the problem is that people are trying to solve, I create video content around those problems. Then I take those videos and I place them so people are actually seeing them. Now, I know that people are afraid to do video, but here's what I'm going to tell you about video. Video has helped me create two multi-million dollar businesses, uh, both in real estate and in coaching. Video um, is, is going to fast track your success. And that's how you look. That's how you sound. So you can learn to do video. But when you put video in front of people, you're winning before you arrive because they can watch your content. They get to know you. You can break down their barriers. You can position yourself as the authority. You can make them feel more comfortable. You can add value you and you can just let them binge watch and consume your content. But if nobody sees the videos, it doesn't make a difference that you even have a video to begin with, right? So you've got to make sure that people actually see your videos. And you do that through running ads um, where people are showing up. Where are people? They're online. They are on social media. So I will create video content and I will put that video content in front of people. So I run a Facebook ad. Now, if I'm competing for a listing presentation and there's Krista, and I'm running Facebook ads and, and, and I'm putting my videos in front of people and you're not. Now, I'm going to be super conservative. Let's just say that that gives me a 5% better chance of winning than you. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It's more like 50%. If somebody's seeing my videos over and over again and I'm targeting them and I'm retargeting them and they keep watching all my content and they're binge watching me and, and I'm like stalking them and showing up wherever they're at and I'm giving them value. I'm probably closer to a 50% chance of, of beating you out on a listing if we were competing. But let's just be super conservative. We're just going to say 5%, okay? So I put the video content out there. Well, now the next thing is, now I'm going to retarget more videos around the solution, more videos around what they're looking for. Now I'm at a 10%, let's just say, okay? Now I'm going to continue to nurture these leads and I'm going to give them more I'm going to retarget more videos, put more videos in front of them. I'm going to add more value, let them get to know me more, give them more value, help them more, educate them more. Now I'm at a 15% chance of winning. Again, it's probably closer to 85, but I'm going to be very, very super like, like, you know, um, unrealistic here. Let's just say it just gives me a 15% competitive edge, but you're still at zero because you haven't done any of those. Then what happens now? Now these people have watched three videos of me talking about selling. So now I'm going to direct them to my what's my home worth funnel where they go to a landing page and it's me with the video saying, hey, would you like to learn more about the value of your home? Um, and if you do, just do me a favor. Let me know, you know, bedrooms, bathrooms and give me a few details and I will give you a valuation of your home. Now I've directed traffic to this landing page. I'm now at a 20% chance of winning and you're still at zero. Oh my gosh. 
really, I'm probably at around 200%. If they get to that landing page and if they raise their hand and say, I'd like analysis, I would say that's probably at a 200% chance of, of probably beating. But let's just be really conservative. We'll say I have a 20% chance of beating you. I want to pause for a moment to talk about our episode sponsor, our one of my favorite companies out there, Follow Up Boss. Now, after interviewing hundreds of top realtors in the country for this podcast, do you know which CRM is used by more than any other by our guests? Of course, it is Follow Up Boss. And let's face it, following up is the key to taking your business to the next level. Follow Up Boss will help you drive more leads in less time and with less effort. Do not take my word for it. Robert Slack, who runs the number one team in the U.S., uses Follow Up Boss, and he has built a $1.5 billion business in just six years. Follow Up Boss integrates with over 250 systems, so you can keep your current tools and lead sources. Also, the best part, they have seven-day-a-week support, so you'll get the help that you need when you need it. And get this, Follow Up Boss is so sure that you're going to love their CRM that for a limited time, they're offering Keeping It Real listeners a 30-day free trial, which is twice as much time as they give everyone else. And oh, yeah. Yeah, no credit card required. So you can try it risk-free, but only if you use this special link. Visit followupboss.com forward slash real. That's followupboss.com forward slash real for your free 30-day trial. Follow up like a boss with Follow Up Boss. And now back to our episode. So they go to the What's My Home Worth funnel, 25%. Now... I'm going to be retargeting them to go to a seller seminar. Now they've requested a CMA from me. I'm sending them to a seller seminar funnel where there's 20 plus videos that talks all about selling. I'm talking about, um, you know, uh, what are contingencies? What you should pay for? Is marketing impo- important? How do you make sure a buyer's qualified? Um, what kind of things that we do? What are um, contingencies? Like I'm educating them all about the, the, the selling process. They go to my seller seminar. They binge watch my videos. Probably at about a 500% chance of winning. But let's just say conservatively, now I'm at 30. You're still at zero. Okay. Well, now I am going to drop off because they requested a market analysis. I'm going to drop off the market analysis to their house. I'm also going to drop off my marketing plan to their house. I'm going to drop off my book, the seller, the savvy seller that talks all about selling. I'm going to drop off a um, uh, a seller's guide. That puts me probably at about a thousand percent. I'm probably about a thousand percent right now, more likely to win that listing because I did that. Okay. I'm just saying 50% and I'm bulking all of those together, but we know that when they get just the marketing plan alone, which has been built and created to to really convert these people, to show my authority, to show what makes me different, that I am probably going to win. Then they get the seller guide and they get the book. I mean, I'm an author for God's sake. I'm an author talking about selling a house. That just gives my level of credibility like through the roof. I'm probably at about a 3,000% chance at this point of getting that listing. But you're still at zero. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Then I'm going to follow up with that CMA. And I'm going to do a digital review of the CMA. I'm going to do a quick video and say, hey, it's Krista. I just dropped off a marketing plan and a book and and a market analysis to your house. Do me a favor and... Um, go to your inbox because I did a quick three minute review of the market analysis for you. Okay, guys, I'm saying I'm at 60%. But if I, when I do that, which I do, when somebody requests a CMA, I do an individualized personal review of that. I am now probably closer to 5,000%. Let's just say it's 60%. You're still at zero. Okay. Then I'm going to send them to my 17 minute marketing pre-listing video. Okay. Now I'm at 80%. You're at zero. Now they're watching a 17 minute video, me talking about all of the digital marketing things that I do, how we get hundreds of hours of watch time on every single video that we create, how the National Association of Realtors says that 67% of buyers will walk through a home that they see online, right? I talk all about how we create funnels and landing pages and videos and how we, you know, what we do to market their properties. Folks, I've pretty much knocked it out of the park. By now, I'm pretty much guaranteed to win the listing. Let's just say it's only 80%. You're still at zero, okay? Then I send them, you know, again, they get digital copies of my CMA, a digital copy of my marketing plan, a digital copy of my book, a digital copy of my seller guide. I'm probably like, again, knocking out of the park now. Let's just say I'm at 90%. 
you're still at zero, okay? Then I send them a video that tells them how we get on average 21% more for our listings than our competitors based upon the marketing that we do. And I show them over a year's time frame how our marketing efforts, when you compare like for like, how we were able to sell our homes for an average of $166,000 more than our competitors. You're at zero, I'm now at 95%. That's probably closer to 1,000%. Let's just be conservative and say it's 95 and then I'm going to send them seller testimonials. I'm going to send them marketing uh, marketing videos of my properties. I'm going to show them why they should hire me. And then I'm going to continue to retarget to them. You are still at zero and I am at 10,000% chance of beating. I hope this makes sense to you. So what are you doing to win before you arrive? What are you doing to get views while you snooze? What are you doing to position yourself as differently than everyone else? Folks, that is how you can win new business as a brand new agent or in a brand new area. You've got to be willing to do what other agents are not willing to do, what other lenders are not willing to do. So you don't want to go up against me on a listing presentation because we will win pretty much every single time because we do all of those steps when somebody requests a CMA. Now, if somebody has scheduled a listing appointment, we do all of those exact same things, except we do not hand deliver the CMA. We do that in person, but we do everything else. Book, marketing plan, drop it off, digital copy, marketing video, why the marketing video works, what, what that means. We do all these things before a listing presentation. We also send a card to remind them, a text message to remind them, and a personalized phone call to remind them about the listing appointment. So that's what we do to attract sellers. That's what we do to get listings. What are you doing? I thank you so much for your time and I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope this is valuable. I hope this is helpful. Um, I want to see your real estate business, your lending business explode, but you got to be willing to do things that other agents are not willing to do to get a different result. Uh, again, I hope this is a little spark of interest to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you next time.